How's it going everybody? It's Robin with Aries Fire Tarot coming at you with a daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Friday, January 21st or whenever you happen to stumble across the reading. Uh, so guys, this is going to be for the collective and I will be using the Crystal Visions tarot card deck that I'm shuffling very poorly. Give me one second here. So I hope you guys are doing fantastic and, you know, sending love and light and many blessings and all that groovy stuff. Um, <clears throat> I like to jump right into the readings, guys. I just want to remind you guys to leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel, you know, to help me succeed and all of that good stuff. So <clears throat> enough about me. Let's pull a card. So heading into the weekend, there's something very prominent in this card um, that I find very compelling with the Queen of Pentacles is that she is surrounded by crystals, okay? So look very closely here. Um, there's a lot of energy available and it doesn't have to be in crystals, but what are you doing in your home for good luck charms, okay? There could be something here, hold on. As a reminder that you have good luck available to you somewhere in your home. Um, you know how sports players, they like to wear whatever their lucky socks or something like that. My son, when he played football, this sounds really strange. He always would take a can of chicken noodle soup and just open it on the sidelines and drink it before a game. And he swore by that. Um, so... What are you doing to enhance your luck, okay? You have to remember what your lucky charms are and maybe put your hands on them um, at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day and carry it with you if you think it's going to be a strenuous day. There is something that the Queen of Pentacles does for herself to keep herself really supercharged on a continuous basis. The Queen of Pentacles re resonates with the energy of being unstoppable, um, you know, this driving force in your own life. So are you doing that? And this could be something as simple as putting on your favorite song and dancing and it changes your energy. So do you have stuff like that? Back here where my tarot cards are sitting, I have all kinds of things that mean something to me, like the talismans and the crystals, and, and I do pick them up and hold them from time to time. So what is that for you? Is it your favorite stuffed animal? Or like, do you have a lucky shirt? Something. You're being guided to really implement that on a more consistent, you know, a daily basis or twice daily basis, and to really amplify the good luck and the the energy flowing through you and around you keeping in mind that everything is energy so when you can positively charge yourself with something and again it doesn't need to be a crystal although they are fantastic you know and i know lots of people that work with crystals you know so you could let me know in the comments what your favorite good luck talisman is and remember to carry it with you or put it in a place of great significance that you will see it on a daily basis, okay? So that it will remind you that you create your own luck as you move through life, okay? And I love how this card came out after. You should really see things start to open up for you as far as options are concerned when you touch your luck on a daily basis. I love the rainbow and the the spirit animal, the dragon coming in to carry you to new heights in your life. You know, people don't do these rituals and carry talismans for nothing, okay? Because it is the belief in the power of your favorite lucky fill in the blank that will propel you further with the determination and the grind and the grace of the Queen of Pentacles and then all these options open opening up for you because you're basically willing it to do so, okay? So let me pull one more card here for you. Just one moment, I'll be right with you. Hold on, okay? I mean, this can really just open you up like a flower. There is the world card here. 
you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to, okay? The world card, it just speaks of there's no limits to what it is that you are capable of doing. There should be something available for you to complete today. And by touching your lucky charms, uh, did that sound horrible? I didn't mean it to, you know, dancing, singing, whatever it is. Always remember your lucky charms, you guys, because they'll take you to another level. Even if it seems a little bit silly or ridiculous to other people, if it means something to you and your heart, constantly tap into whatever fills you with the unstoppable energy of the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So guys, thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up, bye.